Hi everyone, I'm Kyle. I'm Stacy. And we are Orlando Smile Ambassadors. And one of the perks, in fact, maybe the biggest perk of being Orlando Smile Ambassador is you get to check out amazing new things. Like tonight... We gotta go to Universal Orlando's new Wizarding World of Harry Potter. For a sneak peek. So mm -hmm. we got off the bus, ran like little children, like eight-year-olds. All the way there. And stopped at our first shop, which was maybe our favorite experience of the night. Definitely, which was hands down. Hollivanders! We, just like any person who goes to Hogwarts for the first time, you need to get your wand. And the wand needs to choose you. And, and this is a complete experience. So we walk in, and we're there, and the guy working there definitely plays his part. Yeah, he was like busy, you know, keeping mm -hmm. his wands at the time or something. He was like, oh, hello there, didn't see you. Do you need a wand? Are you looking for a wand? He's like, I am, you know. My He's stepper. very mystical. Very mystical. And so <laughs> he, put, he asked me some questions about myself pulled down a wand and asked me to try to do a spell with it. And I tried to make the flowers levitate. Um, it didn't work out. They wilted. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, oh, this is not the wand for you. And he puts them back. He puts them back. And then well, something happened. Oh, right. Um, so then uh, when I did it, uh, one of my favorite things was I was supposed to bring down a wand from up top and bring it down. So, you know, I did the spell and tried to bring it down. And all of the shelves came like <laughs> and broke. And so... That wasn't my one, so he put it back. So we both had two bad things that we couldn't do. Yeah, and then different, different, different bad things. And then the third time, he got gave me a wand, and I did another spell, and the a wind started blowing, music started going, lights started going off, and I was like, "Oh, this is my wand." <laughs> I felt it, and that's what he said. This is, you know, this is your wand. Um, and he explained to me that mine was a willow branch with a hair of a unicorn, and they each have, you know, kind of wood and then something inside. Yep. So, oh, so, let's show. This is our box, and it opens up. Quick detail. Okay. Mm. Points for you, Universal, for this. This wasn't just our boxes. Everyone we talked to had this. There's dust. You can't see it here. It's almost gone. But there's dust on the box. You that walk in. is detail. Yeah. You walk in, and I thought they are going to choose wand boxes from somewhere else, because all the boxes look so old. Like, they were props. Yeah, but he picked them from, like, right behind. Mm -hmm. And this is my wand. Mm -hmm. See that? And this is mine. The mine is a hazel with uh, a uh, what's a feather of a phoenix inside. That's very cool. And I mean, lots of people got lots of different kinds of wands. A good variety. And when you um, walk out, you can walk out and you can purchase a wand if you want to at the Owlery. And you can either choose your wand or you can choose a different wand. Yeah, but you don't do the purchasing inside where the no, wand is chosen, it's which is great. Completely separate experience. And that true. And the Owlery is really cool. You can buy stamps there and send your own postcards that can be marked. From the Harry Potter land, there's four different kinds of postcards, four different kinds of stamps. Yep. I loved it. It was great. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so I'm an amusement park junkie, and my favorite, I don't know a ton about the books, my favorite part about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter was it's really, really, really an immersive experience. Yes. More, I would say, probably than any park that I've been to. You know, mm -hmm. from the costumes people are wearing to the fact that, you know, all of this has been planned to a T, and you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, Butterbeer, you can get, try Butterbeer, which is sort of like a mild root beer, and they pour the but Butterbeer in your cup, and then they pour a separate foam on top of it, mm -hmm. and that tastes really like butterscotch, and the foam gets like larger the more you drink Definitely. it's, it's very butterscotch you can get frozen or regular mm, it's so delicious. good so just everything it's so you you know it's a it really is a world yeah. that they've created and you can tell that they've you know taken no expense kind of creeps you out a little because everywhere yeah. you look you can't see islands of adventure you only see your harry potter yeah it's pretty awesome now as a huge harry potter geek i've read all the books and all the movies and imax i bawled anyways there's a lot of things I was hoping to see, and lots of them I did. Like, um, in line for the Forbidden Journey, you start in the bottom of the castle and kind of work your way up. Mm -hmm. And so you go outside, and you see um, where they grow the flowers. The mandrakes. Kind of, yep, the mandrakes there. They didn't there. scream. I wonder if that's coming I later. think it's going to work later. But you see um, the Gryffindor common room. Um, you see the um, dark arts place. You mm -hmm. see the people in the frames talking back and forth with each other, and they kind of, they talk about the people in line as well, not specifically, but in general, like, are these people going to be good enough? Right, maybe we'll send you to Slytherin, maybe we'll send you, mm -hmm. you know. And then you see um, the eagle that's, you know, the beginning of Dumbledore's office. And, and Dumbledore in hologram. Yes. It's the holograms look. You see Dumbledore's office, which Amazing. in line was my favorite. Like, it's the most detailed, there's the most things around you, it's huge. 
I, I mean, I think the Gryffindor common room is okay, but the dark arts class and Dumbledore's class was like right spot on. I couldn't believe it. And um, yeah, it was amazing. And my favorite part, though, of all the theming that was like the most realistic to how I pictured it in my mind was the champion's tent. The Inside champ Dragon's Challenge. Yeah. yeah, the line for Dragon's Challenge. I walked in and I was like, I am here. I am a champion. I am about to fly and compete champion. and get my uh, trophy. <laughs> So tonight what we saw, they haven't even started soft openings. No. Literally, it was some of the first stuff that public was able mm -hmm. to see. So I think there's going to be a lot more things within right. the next couple of weeks before it opens on uh, June, I believe it's 18th. Um, but it's going to be insane. We didn't get to ride Forbidden Journey. But. No, it wasn't open. But I have to say that when I walked in, I did I had high expectations, but I really didn't feel like I was going to be transformed into yeah, another transported, world. Totally. And I really felt like, I mean... When they put dust on wand boxes... Dust, you guys. You know that the theming is so extreme that it kind of blows your mind. A little bit. <laughs> like, it was so good. Yep. Like, we did a flight at the Hippogriff, which is a ride for little kids, made for little kids. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. And we come around the Huge corner. Huge animatronic. Huge animatronic in a nest. Hippogriff. Bowing. Bowing. And you bow Bowing. back. And you have to bow back to ride the ride. It... It's a little stuff. It creeped stuff. me out, and so many of the major things were there. Yep. They were there, and I was pleased and happy. Yep. <laughs> so we had a blast tonight, and the good mm. news is you can win a trip to Orlando yourself. We're giving away 67 trips to Orlando, and you could be one of them. That's true. Check out visitorlando.com slash smile. Tell us why Orlando makes you smile, and you'll be in the running for one of the trips. That's right. So we had many a smile tonight. We hope to spread the smiles to you with a little good luck spell <clears throat> that we learned tonight, or mm, maybe just mm. made up right now. Ready? Lakamora! <laughs> Big dorks.